New tonight, producers of a new movie based on a best-selling novel were determined to make their film entirely in Indiana. It debuts in theaters tomorrow. Our Jenny Runovich shows us the Hoosier horror thriller showcasing an Indiana landmark. What better place to share a ghost story about secrets unearthed from the past than French Lick and West Baden Springs? The first time I saw that hotel, I was about eight years old. It's where history and mystery rise from the trees. And the hotel was still a ruin at that point. It was very creepy. You know, it had that sort of haunted vibe. A gold mine for novelist and Bloomington native Michael Corita. The juxtaposition of the past and the present that exists in most communities does not really exist here, in my opinion. The past is just always here. Um, the past seems to live within the present. And that is inherently a ghost story to me. And now that ghost story from Corita's best-selling book is going to the big screen. Certain stories, they just refuse to die. A film by Pegasus Pictures, set and shot entirely in Orange County, with a team of Hoosiers behind it. The highest scale movie made in Indiana in decades. People will always tell you that you can't do things in Indiana. And I love that this group came together and said, no, we're going to figure out a way and make it a product of the place. So Cold the River is a supernatural thriller, starring Bethany Joy Lentz from Dexter in One Tree Hill. You making a documentary about the hotel? Uh, I wouldn't really use that word to describe it. It's more of a character profile. It's about a documentary filmmaker investigating the dark secrets of a dying millionaire from West Baden. And the only tangible clue she has to his childhood is a single bottle of Pluto water. Yes, that Pluto water, the curer of ills from Mineral Springs with a devil for a mascot. It's one of the many local references Hoosiers will recognize. Hoosiers are in it too, local residents cast as extras. It was exciting, I loved it. You'll even see Justin Harris, the resort's facility director, in the trailer. So cold the river trailer. At least if you look real close. Right there, oh, gotta go back. Real quick. There. I think I saw you. <laughs> oh, pause, pause. Is. It's so short, so difficult to catch. There it is, look at that. That's me, would you like my autograph? <laughs> I would like your autograph. I'm not charging at the moment, but once I, you know, superstar. <laughs> the real star of the film might just be the hotel itself. The hotel is my favorite character. It's very special as a novelist, it was special. And then on film, I thought it was just, you know, it's extraordinary. This wasn't just shot here in the atrium. The hotel has actually preserved a room used in the film. You can see it right up there, and you can stay there overnight if you dare. Do you have the key cards? I do. Room 4626, dubbed the movie room, was redecorated by set designers for full frightening effect. And apparently it worked. Some guests who've stayed here since got scared, requested to be moved after just one night. The dream of anyone who sits down to write something creepy is that you're going to cost someone a, you know, at least an hour of sleep. To know that I might have cost someone a whole night, that is just glorious to hear. The highest of praise. The highest of praise, yes. <laughs> For Corita, this place, his novel, and now the film represent a full circle moment. Hello? Someone in here? Sharing a Hoosier horror thriller made in and inspired by an Indiana landmark. It's very exciting to know that we're gonna put it out to the world now but that it was, it was born here and shot here, and hopefully it brings people in, too. What a fun story. Great job, Jenny. And if you'd like to check out this film, it's showing in select theaters nationwide starting tomorrow, including Indy's Glendale 12 and Living Room Theaters over at the Bottle Works District. Mm. It'll be released on demand and digitally on March 29th.